Hello, my name is Jay, and today I've got predicted specs or predicted frame rates for the 2080 Ti. Now, how I've done this, and I'll explain pretty much the math behind it, is I've calculated and I've taken all the past um, versions, past cards, top tier cards, 780 Ti, 980 Ti, uh, and then the 1080 Ti, and I've kind of gotten um, a, a general idea of what the increase is, is, and what the kind of the general shape of the where we're going and stuff. So I will say there's a couple things to keep in mind though. Number one, um, Nvidia has said this is going to be more of a power saving card rather than performance. So I have dropped the number slightly on what to expect so that we may not get such a dramatic increase. Um, also the second thing is, is that some of the cards, um, some of the lower end cards were not actually optimized for the games. Um, some of the games I tested, PUBG, um, I believe it was actually, I don't remember what it was, I think it was GTA? No, it was PUBG I believe that wasn't necessarily as optimized um, for the 780 um, Ti. So pretty much what I've gone through and done is I've taken and I've calculated what the um, average increase is and I've gone through and tested to see what um, hopefully that increase will be for the 2080 Ti. So I hope you enjoy and I've included all the nice pretty charts to see what you can expect. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and of course check out my Discord if you want to talk a little bit more about predicted specs or ask me any questions. Um, but the math is pretty much just calculating 30% increase and what the average increase is in between the generations, which I guess holds true that it's a 30% increase. Um, we'll say though a couple things that um, overall on average I saw around a 20 um, FPS increase on all games, I wouldn't say some are a little bit different than others, especially if you're good. It really depends. If something's not graphic intensive, you're not going to see anything. Like, I did test Minecraft just to prove that it's not graphically intensive um, because I've had a lot of people lately be like, oh, Minecraft's really graphic intensive, and we all know uh, not. Um, so that's just putting, that's why that's thrown in there as well. But I um, hope you enjoy, and here it is. I've included all the test results in the description, so if you're interested, you can go down there and pretty much just go, you know, check it out. I've also done a Google link. You can pretty much hop in there and see all the results if you're interested. Um, one of the big things I will recommend, though, is or will say, is that this is just a prediction, and I've kind of included the expected ranges. Um, keep in mind, though, that this may not be true anyway. Um, the video said that this um, this new architecture, Ampere, is going to be more of a power efficiency kind of architecture rather than performance. So we may actually end up seeing something that's a lot lower across the board. But you never know. Tesla is supposed to be much more powerful, and that is if Tesla is. It, that's if Ampere is running Tesla. So also the last thing I'd say is if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing me seeing doing some of the other models like the 10E and stuff, let me know down in the comments. As for subscribing, I would only recommend subscribing if you're going to watch, you know, the other stuff that I do, modding. Check out, check out my channel if you're going to do that um, before making that kind of decision. And I uh, hope to see you around. Bye.